Hi Stefan, uh, I make this uh, small video to demonstrate on what we are working now, which problems we are solving. And uh, this is another video that we intend to do in the hospital to do a full scale testing in the real environment. This is just to show you the status uh, according to today. Okay, what we have, we had a problem with the old method that every time the accelerometer is moving is sending events. Uh, let me demonstrate. I just uh, upload old framework, meaning from few old few days, and uh, I will show you what was the problem. Uh, let's make a connection to the phone so it will be easy to demonstrate it. This is the IP of the asset. Okay, RF444 is one of the asset. I'm enable only one now. Uh, as you can see, uh, between the bridge and the asset, you can see the distance. Minus 33 is the RSSI, so it can know the, the distance. And this is the address. As you can see, the name of the uh, of the asset, part of the address, the Bluetooth address, is, is part of the name. So I, I click on that. And we will try to make a connection. When we see, as you can see here, RX, meaning receiving wirelessly, uh, RF ready, meaning there is a bonding between the asset and the bridge. Now the phone is uh, actually taking the information from the bridge, but it's taking it from the assets. So what was the problem? The problem was very simple. I now will uh, move the asset. As you can see, uh, the asset, since it has accelerometer, and I just bend the table. Bend the table meaning I just knock on the table like that. He getting the information and send many events and uh, you can see in the phone application that is actually monitoring the bridge what it gets you're getting all the information you see a lot a lot of information just because i just click slowly and fast on the table and this uh, uh, has two problems one of the problems is that uh, the information or let's say the space inside the asset uh, become so big meaning it passing the 50% free space inside in the RAM, not in the flash, in the flash there is enough space. We have a problem of for doing over there update because we are actually sending a new framework to the device. It's download to the RAM, checking uh, CRC and stuff like that, and then uh, program it inside the flash. Once it became bigger than what we had in the past, we have to change all the uh, over there update to accommodate a bigger uh, framework and we work on that it, I think more than two weeks just to make it working. The second problem is the behavior. Uh, once we finish the over there update and I will demonstrate in a minute, it seems that we're getting too many events. One of the uh, requirement uh, I will show here is uh, how many device can work since the real uh, uh, Air traffic cannot be bigger than 110k. So obviously, if we have uh, this much of information on one asset moving, think what, what happened in a room that have 30 assets, 30 wagons that are carrying from one place to another. This will be flood the system, and we need to change this behavior. So I will demonstrate in a second what we work about, what we change, and what we're still working on that in that part. So first let's see uh, how we solve the over there update. As I will close the application and we have a new one. This one, as you can see, is application on the Android. Uh, choose file, we can have a new framework. So the system that you will, will left in your side, if you need to change something, you can just select the file. Set target, you can select the one of all the assets of the bridges that you want to update the framework. Now we're selecting the same asset again. I touch that. And start over there update. On the right side, you can see the monitoring showing the progress of the, of the system. And you can see how it's working. It will start in a minute. As you can see here, you're getting the size of the over the air. It's 35. It's passing the 50%. And you can see how it's progress. 4%, 5%. Uh, 
until you will finish. When you will finish, actually what will happen is that you will do a automatic reset. Uh, in the meantime, while you're doing it over the uh, update, uh, I will tell you what uh, we did. Instead of sending a lot of events over the mesh that uh, using too much uh, bandwidth over the Bluetooth, we changed the behavior of the device in a way that it will just send one message starting to move and one message when it stop moving. Meaning that if somebody taking a wagon and, uh, and move it from his location, he will send uh, one message and will continue uh, the, la the second message when this uh, wagon will stop. Even momentarily will stop. Now we make it uh, when it stop at least two seconds. And of course we can change that parameter over there, but now we, we didn't do that. Just we fi hard fix that when it will stop for two seconds, we'll get notification that it's stopped. In this way, we believe that we can uh, manage uh, hundreds or even thousands of assets all around because they were not broadcasting all the time. Only two messages, one it started moving and stopping moving. Uh, what we are working now is to manage that since we have to change the Wi-Fi framework also. So we are working on the Wi-Fi now. And there is actually uh, several scenarios that we need to take care of that uh, inside the Wi-Fi and inside the main chip. Because actually there is three entities in the hospital and not two. Uh, one is the asset as we understand. One is the mesh uh, device, the bridge device. But we don't want bridge device that has a Wi-Fi connection, active Wi-Fi to the internet, to continue to mesh to other areas of the hospital. Because in this way, we just send in unnecessary traffic. So what we are doing or working now is that once a message bridge uh, uh, get to some of the bridges and the bridges has active Wi-Fi, it will be an endpoint, meaning that it will not match it further. So we have actually three entities in the hospital and no, not two entities. So what we are working now is on the third entity, the one that can send to the internet the, uh, the information and will not match it on. And uh, this is what we're doing uh, uh, nowadays. Once it will working, we will send you a video that will make in a real scenario in hospital with a lot of people, a lot of devices, and uh, we'll send you a full. This is unexpected, the, the, the need to change the, the, the bridge that uh, will be endpoint, and not the normal one. It just finished to flash, and what you see that it's doing a reset and uh, upload a new, a new connection. So that's all. Uh, I will uh, update you progressively what, what is going on on, on the other side. I will uh, stop this one, load a new framework, and show how the new one is working. Maybe we can do it. Uh, no, I will post another video showing how the new device is working regarding the, the one message. Thank you.